Hey guys, I was so excited yesterday. I received my new suspension for my hammock. Um, the suspension is made by Superior Gear. And I've already been outside playing with it. And I am super excited about using it. And I wanted to show you just what it's all about. I typically have been using a uh, the whoopee sling with the tree strap set up. But the f fidgetability of that thing um, caused me a lot of stress i guess and it took longer to get things set up so i decided to go with something different my son had a uh the cinch buckle straps for his hammock and i had tried that on our last little backpacking trip and i enjoyed it uh, it was a lot easier to set up there was just no headache at all so i decided to get my own now this is a different brand from what he had his was some i bought off amazon but it really made setup a whole lot faster and easier less headache so let me show you what's inside here. Like I said, this is made by Superior Gear. It's a cinch buckle type. Um, let me show you. It's a little bit different. It makes for easy, more easy adjustments uh, the way this is rigged. Now the straps I bought from Dutchware, they had some on clearance. Um, I got, these are just lightweight polyester. I think they're 12 feet straps like i said they were just no they were 10 they were 10 10 feet uh and they were on clearance so i picked them up for seven dollars a pair all right let me show you the what i love about this <clears throat> the setup like i said is so fast all you have to do is uh now i'm using a carabiner you don't have to you can actually use this loop and go around the tree and you could, I'm going to, like I said, use the carabiner. But you could just pass this strap back through this loop. And I'm going to pull it out here. Let me go to the other tree. Let me get my hammock. All right, the red end of this hammock indicates that's my head, and um, I'm gonna start by hooking up the foot end. So this is the continuous loop that I was talking about. It's just goes around the end of the, it's a gathered in hammock. All right, so this just goes like this, and I will just let my hammock come through here, out. We'll grab the other end. I'll leave this on here. All right, I got the other strap. And you do want to be sure that this thing does not twist like this. Otherwise, it's not a tight um, uh, connection on there. Hook that end. The foot end usually needs to be higher than the head. So I'm going to let out let that out some oh i hope it doesn't touch the ground then i'm going to tighten this other end like that and that looks about good no the head still needs to be lower but really the point of the video is just to show you the new suspension and moving it up and down lowering it and raising it is super fast all you have to do is pull on this and then just let that out. Make sure that's straight. And it doesn't matter whether this is flipped up or flipped down. It doesn't matter. In fact, when you get in this, I, earlier I had it flipped up like this. And when I got in it, the pressure actually made that thing flip over, which was not a big deal. All right, I'm gonna raise the foot end of it a little bit more, like that. That should be good. I timed myself earlier doing, uh, just, just hooking up the suspension in the hammock, not the tarp or anything, and it was a minute and a half to get strap on this, this tree, strap on that tree, and then hook the hammock up. Minute and a half. I have, with the whoopee slings and tree straps, fiddled with that suspension up 
15, 20 minutes before getting it just right. Um, sometimes longer. I mean, and it all depends on the distance of the trees from each other. And the problem with the whoopee sling and the tree straps is you have two variables there. You've got the length of the tree strap coming out, and then you've got the whoopee slings, which are adjustable, um, just like, like this was adjusted up and down. The whoopee slings do that. But if you use up all your adjustability of your whoopee sling and you still need to bring this hammock up, then you've got to go back up there and readjust your um, tree strap shorter and start all over and to do it over and over and over and sometimes depending on the width of the tree you have a hard time getting the uh just the right um length of the strap coming out to meet the whoopee sling and it and again that's on both sides and then you have it's just it was just a lot of fiddling um now i'm sort of a new hammock hammocker i've had a hammock for several years i didn't use it as much it was a hennessy and um, I moved to the tent because it was just so much easier. Um, and, I, and I didn't have an under a proper under quilt and all that stuff. But I'm slowly but surely getting all the good all the pieces together. And I'm learning more and more as I use it. So I went with a blackbird hammock uh, made by Warbonnet. And I love this. This is actually more comfortable than the Hennessy. That's the reason I really didn't use the Hennessy a whole lot. I had trouble uh, getting a, a really good flat lay and my knees were having issues. I'd wake up with them just severely in pain. So I got the war bonnet, this, uh, the Blackbird this year. And that's why now I'm trying to work with the uh, different suspensions. But I think, I've, I think I have sold on this one super easy. You saw how I just pull that and it adjusts up. Now the wind has caught this and pulling it. When you're setting this up, you all, always want to have, you'll have your tarp you know, over this, of course, this is way too low right now. Um, I've been playing with it, but when you, if it's going to be raining, you always want to make sure you have a, some sort of drip line so that as the rain, your, your tarp will be up here, will come out. Um, mine usually is about, hangs over about that much on each end. And um, so, but any rain that hits out here and run, it might run down this strap, you need you want a what they call a drip line which is which basically will be this uh strap here it'll hit here and drip off instead you don't want it to come down into this um so this acts like exactly, acts like your drip line just be sure when you you're through making your adjustments that this is straight here and not uh, twisted like that and make sure that this webbing isn't you know uh, make sure this webbing isn't like that it's not going to make a good tight hold and it'll slip once you sit in it so just make sure that's straight Now I'm using a carabiner here just to make it simple and I can make adjustments faster. You can actually take this strap and go back through the loop here. Um, but if you needed to change trees, if for some reason you, you got this set up and you realize, oh gosh, it's too close, can't get my tarp up, I don't have enough room, you can move it from tree to tree by just undoing the carabiner and then going to a different tree. In fact, I'll do that real quick. Now, the tree I'm going to here is going to be closer, so I'm going to tighten this up. And go around it. Obviously, I'm going to have to take up some slack, but... I'm trying not to drop my hammock on the ground, because it's wet out here. That's not as high as it needs to go, but that was just for demonstrated purposes. All right, so I've got it moved to this tree without having to undo all of this. And I kept my hammock off the ground and kept it dry. This is going to be so much easier than the uh, whoopee slings and tree straps. Now, probably if, I don't know, maybe if I did a through hike with them, 
the uh, whoopee slings and tree straps. I might get better at it faster, better at picking my trees. That's the point, is the distance between the trees. Um, but it seems like lately, all the trees, everywhere where we've been stopping, the trees are a little bit closer together, and this right here is going to solve that. All right, and the buckles are made by Superior Gear. They include this little, there it is, superiorgear.com. They include this cool little stuff sack. That's what, and I just got the buckles, the pair of them, this and the ones on the other end. And I got the strap from Dutchware. Straps, both straps. But I'm glad they included this bag because um, these straps, if I happen to use them on like pine trees that have a lot of sap sometimes, I can keep the sap off the rest of my gear by putting them in this bag. That'll be great. All right, now I will say that um, the wind's picking up. It's getting a little chilly. The, this setup with the buckles and the strap is a little bit heavier than the whoopee slings and tree straps. And I'll put that weight difference on the screen. But honestly, the headache that it, that it keeps me from having by using this is going to be worth it. And it's just a few ounces. Uh, I'm not a wham, gram, <laughs> I'm not a wham greenie. I'm not a gram weenie. But and I do, but I do watch my weight on certain things. But the the, the trade off here is less headache, less. By the end of the day, I'm tired. I get ornery, irritable, and when things don't, when I'm trying to hook up this thing and I'm having to readjust and readjust and readjust and change trees, I get all bent out of shape, and it just makes me mad. And I'm tired, and it's just not worth it. So having something that's a lot easier set up, a lot faster, I can get this done and get on to my meal and get things going so um i just look for this to be a much better setup for me anyway i'm excited to take this back out on my next trip we're going to be back on the penhody next month and hopefully and i'm looking forward to using this all right if this looks like something you may be interested in you can go check them out on their website they've got some other things in fact they've got hammocks too i haven't really checked them out because i really love my blackbird i love this shelf on here i'm going to do a review on this hammock um, before too long I'm going to show you the difference between this and the Hennessy that I've got. All right. I appreciate y'all tuning in and watching. Y'all have a good day.